What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today I actually just finished my stream and lo and behold, the Dragon Ball Heroes live stream that's been going on for like the last couple hours, like right now the time of this recording, they're still doing actual competitions between human versus human with the actual card arcade game and everything, so, but this was officially revealed on that little live stream here and it is of course what we kind of expected some dragon ball hero stuff is going to be coming to the Do you know dokkan uh version jp version of the game global i'm assuming because now you guys have officially gotten hero stuff you'll get this stuff eventually or you will get maybe get this at the exact same time i'm not really sure it's just that usually with all this live stream stuff that usually happens here in japan they don't mention the global stuff but you know, that's not to say that, hey, this could possibly happen. So hopefully, I'm hoping it is. I'm really hoping it is that it comes out at the same time for you guys. Because this stuff will be coming out around in November. Obviously, this is going to be the kind of mid to late November. Because we're going to be having the transforming cooler at the very end here. I'm basically, either Halloween or November 1st is when this stuff will release. In or in terms of the transforming cooler, I should say. The SCR transforming cooler that was revealed via the V-Jump and everything. And then this hero stuff right here is going to be along, again, if I had to take a wild guess, if I pull up my calendar and I go over to November here, I'm going to say, I don't know, the 19th or 20th or something like that, probably. That's just a wild guess, but that would, you know, it's pretty much when we've usually seen it and all that kind of stuff. So, um, now, what we're going to be getting here is definitely pretty interesting. So, first off, we're going to be getting a free-to-play, I almost called him Kaba just because, you know, his name is very similar to... Kaba from Universe 6 and everything, but we're going to be getting a free free to play version of this guy. I, I butcher his name every single time I say it, so I'm going to call him not Kaba. You guys know exactly who I'm talking about. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to get a free to play version of him, which is awesome because we did get a couple of free to play units with the last collaboration and everything, which was really, really cool. However, the only downside to the fact, unless, unless, unless if this is his SSR form, and when he Dokkan Awakens, because it's going to be a free-to-play unit, so most likely he does. If he Dokkan Awakens into a Super Saiyan 3 version, then awesome. Then you'll be able to use that because this guy is going to be one of your farmable, or not farmable units, one of your summonable units from the banner, okay? Now, unfortunately, I do not expect any kind of discount summons or, you know, three at uh, three to 30 stones and then that or anything like that. Usually these hero banners, unfortunately, have just simply been 50 stones, summon, you get something great, if not. But at the same time... Generally, the banner is pretty good in terms of the featured SSRs. There's only hero units in here. There are no other uh, SSRs in the game, uh, from the game in this banner or anything like that. So that is something to keep in mind right there. Um, so anyway, so this guy is going to obviously be the summonable Super Saiyan 3. And he's going to have a transformation, more of a great 8 type transformation. Um, he maybe could be an active skill, kind of like the Super Saiyan uh, Namek Goku, the SCR one. Could be similar to that, we're not really sure. But more likely or not, because he's already in ape form, that means he's going to have the great ape mechanic. So maybe he's the one card that is going to make the Giants category Super Battle Road stage somewhat okay. I still hate that stage to this to this day. And you guys know me, I love my Super Battle Road. But when it comes to Super Battle Road, great ape, mm -mm, mm -mm, I beat it once and I was done. That is it. So then we're going to get in a uh, golden cooler over here, which is going to be awesome. I can't wait for golden cooler. He's going to be an amazing. I, I don't know. I don't even know what he does. I don't even know what he does. But I, I hope they do him justice. Now, I'm also hoping because we've I've, we talked about this a little bit in some of my streams and everything where now that they finally have lift the cap on giving global the heroes cards. Where are they with the Dokkan Fest exclusive, right? The Dokkan Fest Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, the, the Dokkan Fest Super Saiyan 3, you know, whatever, right? <clears throat> so I was hoping that we'd see some kind of Dokkan Fest Golden Cooler. Obviously, I knew it wasn't going to happen this month because you already have the Dokkan Fest Transforming Cooler. But this Golden Cooler, I really hope they do him justice. And maybe in the future, we will see one that is this guy and then he goes metal or something like that. Or who knows? I personally prefer this form over the metal form. Shout out to my friend Goresh because I know he prefers the metal form. But man, Goresh, speaking of Goresh, actually, man, that guy has now got SDR Transforming Cooler. He's got the Legends Transforming Cooler, the Legends Transforming Frieza, who goes in the Golden Frieza, and now another Golden Cooler. <laughs> Damn, that's four coolers for this. This four just, lead, you know, just, oh my god. Just, wow, wow. Just <laughs> good luck, buddy. That's all I'm going to say. Can I expect you out here, by the way, for 
all of that Heroes information stuff that was released. We'll do another little kind of vlog video stuff where we walk around Akihabara and you're able to get your cards and everything. I think that, that was a lot of fun. So if you come out again, man, before that, let me know. I'll definitely uh, hook up with you. So, And then finally, we're going to be getting a Fu. Now, this guy will probably be summonable. He's probably going to be more of a support unit via like the Darkness Toa and things like that. But it should definitely be really interesting um, what he does. Again, my thoughts are on a support unit. He could be a normal kind of actual attacker. But definitely more of a support unit, I personally think. Because that's just the way he is. Unless maybe he's got a transformation. He could potentially have a transformation mechanic. Um, they didn't say anything in the uh, live stream when I was watching it. But you know, who knows? Maybe maybe they will. It'd be definitely really cool. Golden Cool is obviously the one I'm the biggest fan of. I will go into that banner 100%. And I'm hoping for Golden Cooler. I don't even care. Like, like I could rainbow this guy in Fu and whatever other unit could potentially be coming. And if I don't get Golden Cooler, I'm going to be one sad talent. So, I want Golden Cooler. <clears throat> Just give me all the Golden Cooler copies. I don't even care about these two. I mean, I'm sure Fu's going to be an amazing support unit. So, I definitely would have probably like a copy of him him whatever he's he's just gonna be powerful probably that's gonna be my take on it but golden cooler give me a good golden cooler joke on i'm looking at you b team you better be making this card not your superiors who make the anniversary stuff who don't know how to make transformation mechanics so obviously it's golden cooler to have that but hey it is what it is so anyway guys that's basically gonna be it for the video make sure you check out the other video i talked about where i actually kind of saw this coming where i'm like okay maybe in the live stream they're going to be doing something about, you know, some kind of collaboration information they could possibly drop. So hopefully right there, that should be really, really good. The hero banners, in my opinion, I know a lot of people sometimes don't summon on them because, you know, obviously we've got the big other celebrations coming up. They are worth it, actually. Even if it's just a multi or two, you can actually get some really good cards. That These cards, for the most part, I'd say, besides the year one stuff, who finally got their, finally got their joke on Awakening, they age really well. They do age really well. So it's not something to overlook. Yes, we all wish that these cards would go into the, you know, just every banner, essentially, and they could be unfeatured. That'd be really, really nice, but I don't think they're going to for right now, unfortunately. Maybe in the future they will, but until then, we'll have to wait and see. So, anyway, guys, let me hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you think that uh, you're going to be going for any of these hero units? Which one are you most hyped for? Are you more hyped for the free-to-play unit, the golden cooler? The summonable ones, the foo, all that kind of stuff. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments as always. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you happen to be new. And by the way, I want to make a real quick announcement before jumping off real quick. I swear it's only like 10 seconds. Uh, I'm going to be doing my charity stream for those affected by the typhoon here in Tokyo about two weeks ago. So we're going to be doing a live stream on November 1st, Japan time, aka Halloween, if you're back in the States. It's going to be starting at about 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 a.m. Japan time. Come on by, we're playing some Dokkan, some Smash, some Fighters, some all that fun stuff. If you even if you can't donate anything, I understand, but just come by and show your support. It's always appreciated. So we're gonna be doing that. Keep an eye over on Twitter as well, because I'll be updating you guys constantly over there as well. And it should be a lot of fun. So anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for the video though. Until next time, everyone. I'll see you all in the next one.